Now this is the next pop rivet hole. The only problem is when I drilled it, the drill was going up in there at an angle because this was in the way. And the whole tray box came down like this. So remember the box comes over. I had to come in at an angle and I made the hole big. So if I do this pop rivet, it might not stick. I might need to use a washer. It might be a problem. So we're gonna try to get this one and hopefully that it sticks without a without a washer. But I got a washer ready, that's why I bought the washers if need be. So we need a little luck. And we got it. It held. I didn't make it too big. That's excellent. If you turn around the other side, I'll show you. Ready? And there it is right there. So it grabbed. Right. Right there. Yeah, excellent. Nice camera work. Right there. Um, the next one we got to do is right here. Now, the reason, now you see why we needed to put that pop rivet through this way. See how, what's left, see what happens when you squeeze a pop rivet. It shortens it and makes it fat and dope, dopey and it, it grabs hold and doesn't pull through the hole. So that's why it's important. Because if we wouldn't, if we'd have went through that way, if we'd have went through that way, it would have stuck into here. The DVD drop holder would it, the DVD player would have hit it. So we can't do it that way. It can't hit it. So we're gonna we're gonna come through here. We got one more to get, which really isn't necessary, but we're gonna put it in. Just because they had it in, we'll put it in. This is our last one, and we're going to one, two, oh, two squeezes. Nice. That means that one grabbed really well. And um, that is what we have for a DVD mounting drive. Now we're going to take the tray and do a test. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to, I didn't hear you. What's that, hon? We're going around. Okay, thank you. We're going to take this and slide I'll it in you here. That. And it should slide all the way into place, and boom, look at that. And it sits out about right there. And the reason why it sits out about right there, is, I'm going to come in front of the camera. The reason why it sits right there is because this is going to go on, and that comes out to about there. So you see it actually goes right... Oh, hi, Bailey! Right about... Say hi, Bailey! Oh, I'm going to take this back off. Yeah. Hi, both. Bailey! I showed the camera barely. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, so let's try this one more time. We're still on camera? The ca yeah. Don't look at the dog. Look at the camera here, please. Uh -huh. The camera's on the camera. Alright, so there we go. We're going to put this in like this. This will go in like this, and I need to see the depth of this thing. Fairly down! And look at that. Pow. And we're going to hold it in. With screws. <laughs> okay? Okay. We're gonna put a couple of screws in there to hold it in place. Are we gonna do that on camera or off? Off camera. Okay, so. So I think that's what we got for now. That's it, but that will be D Abby's DB drive holder. I'm also going to take this case so you can't see none of the hard work. And turn it. I'm into gonna a one big plexiglass uh, yep. piece. So like you can daddies. see some of her work. Well kinda like daddy's. Yep, yep. Like okay, so we're good. That's all I got for you right now. All right, so uh, Methanol <laughs> Man out. Bye. Bye, guys. Hey, everybody. Meth Man here. Doing my uh, bulkhead pass through for Abby on the Hurricane Abigail mine. Hi, guys. Here's that. Hey. And here we go. I took this drill bit here. All right, Bill. I'm going to get ready to go to took bed. Took a three quarter inch drill bit and drill it down through there like that. And. I put some tape underneath here, right here, to catch all the metal shavings. I taped up the hard drive to be safe. I had tape over these, I just took it off. Hey, no. um, first thing I did was drill a pilot hole with this, and then the next size up, and then that size, and then I went with the big gun right there, and then I went down through here like that. So what we have is what we have is this right here and I take this off like this I filed my edges nice and neat with a rat tail file one of these bad boys makes a screeching ungodly noise it's in there like that it's got a rubber grommet on this end right here 
to seal it even though no water ever passes through this, it's just a bulkhead. Put this on like this. Get it tight. That's nice and snug. Thank you, camera person. You're welcome. I got that there and see what we got. We got a bulkhead pass through. And I'm going to take a premature fitting and put it right here like this and bend this around and down into my reservoir. And that's going to fill it. I had it, was going to put it over here. But then as you see, the DVD drive tray doesn't leave much room up in there. So I decided to move it this way. And with both my fans in here, when you swing this fan over here and you bolt this fan up, right like that and all them holes line up it clears as you see clears well so we have plenty of room to go on this side up in that side right there and put a nice prima chill fitting come straight down clear all that it'll also clear i put it back far enough to clear that the sata hook up i think i've thought of everything i need to get this tube over here coming this way because I don't want it to the, the you know power supply thing to be in the way of the, hitting that tube coming in when it plugs into the motherboard so that's what I got thanks for the update thanks for watching and uh, I'll be back with you that fan out subscribe if you like turn if you don't peace out Bye. hey everybody meth man here a little quick update on hurricane Abigail mine Ab's over there. I'll show you here in a minute. There's uh, my Barrow T I bought. The Barrow ball valve. And I swear that looks like Vicks Power stuff. But uh, that's Barrow. 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 I'm telling you, I'm not getting paid for these fools, but their stuff looks pretty sweet and pretty reasonable. It's this is the true. Hurricane Abigail mod. And it's true, he's not getting paid to say this stuff. He really and likes it. I really like the how Abby's mod's coming. I like how I painted the fan, the power supply. I'm gonna paint this and um, and some more stuff. I might paint the memory. I don't know. Depends. You gotta be careful taking the memory apart because you can um, ruin it if sometimes the, the modules stick to the heat spreader and ruins the memory stick. So no, I'm on the fence about painting that. It's an expensive mistake. Anyways, that's what I got. Nice little see-through plug. That plug right there. Really psyched. So that's what we got for now, guys. So thanks for watching. Like, uh, and um, we'll be back with more. So me and Abs will be back. Abigail Witter at YouTube.com. <laughs> Peace out, guys. Bye. Just here updating Abby's uh, mounted her abs over there. So uh, updated uh, mounted Abby's pump today. Drilled some holes down here. Mounted them. Um, made a little mishap here. It all slipped on me and I didn't realize it. Got all four bolts mounted. Got the pump mounted to a fan. I'm going to put it, these are LED fans. And I'm just using the stock EK Vader fan for this. When I do buy the uh, RGB fans, I'll put an RGB fan here. I'll buy one extra. But for now, that'll work just fine. So I've got that mounted. That'll go over here in my fill port. I'm stoked about my fill port. That'll work fine right there. Um, Everything looks pretty good. That's what I got for now. And next we're going to look at this. Hey everybody, Methanol Man here. Methanol Man's Hardware. Filling Hurricane Abigail mod up. And we're going to start right now with my trusty fill tube. My... My trusty... Look at that pink. Look at that pink girl. Oh yeah. Sorry. Hey guys. Right. <laughs> Look at it going down in there. I use my fill tube. I was standing on the desk to get your head in the shot. And we're doing this. See, it, get it, go, fill it going down the side, honey. Damn. Look it. at that part. It's amazing. It's so cool. Going down. Hey mom, you want to watch it? There. And then 
and it's down there. Now, where does it come in from, Daddy? At the top here. My filter is the next. I know, but filter. where does it come after that? What do you mean? Where does it come in at? Where does it come? Where does it go? Look at that. Sorry, guys. My chest is literally on the edge of this chair. Well, then relax. Sit back and relax. I'm trying to get this in. Oh, I'm so excited for my computer. <laughs> oh, now look at the top. Coming down. So, it's coming. He, Daddy's putting it from the, the what's it called? The, um. The reservoir? The reservoir. I'm, put, I'm taking it from the yeah, turkey you're, baster? You're taking it from the turkey baster. To the, and you're to the putting fill it, tube? You're putting it in the in the tube, and the and then the it's coming through here, through there, into there, through out there, and it loops around, and then it's gonna go up and over there. Here, yep, the nest uh, uh, reservoir down below. Yeah. And this is so, an external fill tube we have. So well, some. The camera's pointing at. Okay. So Daddy's so taking it the. The turkey baster. Where is it? Take, taking the calm down. Calm down. Right here. Don't film that way. Please turkey stop. The ba turkey baster and taking my my color, the reservoir, and putting the turkey base, baster and here. baster baster and and to into the, the tube, into the coolant into the tube and, and it goes. Oh, no. Sit back and I'll see. Watch. Sure. Sure. Really into there. Really into no. through really there. Really Oh my god. Alright, stop the video. Hit comes the, okay. Stop.